What are you doing? Try to guess. Are you washing your hair? No. So, what are you doing? Just taking a stroll. On water? I don't need a life preserver. I'm a great swimmer. Very funny. I don't need these either. Nor do I need that. I'm not a boat. You are a good swimmer. And I can fly, too. You can fly? You have wings? Yes. Uh, I don't have metal wings, though. They're feathered. Aren't I lovely? You don't have a mouth. No, I have a bill, which is much better for fishing. But this bill's much too long for me. Mine is short and round. Yeah, this one fits. To fish, all I have to do is dip my head in the water. Like a snorkel? Mm-hmm, but without the mask and snorkel. I take a deep breath and... Hey, your toes are all stuck together. Ha-ha, <laughs> that's right. I have webbed feet. Pretty cute, huh? Wait, wait, wait! You're an animal with two feathered wings, a short round bill for fishing, and you have webbed feet to help you swim. I know what you are. You're a duck! That's right. How on earth did you guess? <laughs> Do you have a hat? <laughs> you do? Hooray! Hats make me so happy. <laughs> Let's see what Ruff Ruff Tweet and Dave are doing today. Up. <laughs> Ruff 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 Ruff! Good morning, Ruff Ruff! Hi, Hattie. I'm looking for a hat. Oh, what sort of hat? I want a hat to stop my ears getting hot in the sunshine. I don't think you'll find one in a hole in the ground, Ruff Ruff. Hi, Hattie. Hello, Tweet. Ha Oops. Ooh, I'm all right. <laughs> I'd like a hat too. One that stops me hurting my head when I bump it on something hard. I want a hat that makes me look important because blue pants are very important. Ooh. <laughs> I've looked everywhere and I can't find any hats at all. Maybe you'll find the right sort of hat on our adventure. What adventure are we going on today, Hattie? Ask, Ask the hat! Ask, Ask the hat! hat. OK. <laughs> Today we're going on a happy hat adventure! Yay! A happy hat adventure! Happy hat sounds fun! Uh, what's a happy hat, Hattie? It's a hat that fits so well it makes you happy! Woohoo! Just like mine! To your roly pods! <laughs> <laughs> Let's open it! 
there are hats inside. Lots of hats. Hmm. I need a big hat that sits on my head between my ears. I like this one. I wonder if it'll fit. Ruff, I found an important looking hat. What about this hat? Great! Blue pandas have big heads because there are so many blue panda ideas inside them. But that's a very, very, very big hat. <laughs> well done, everyone. You've all found different sized hats for Dave. <laughs> now my hat is telling me there's a question on the way. Let's play! Game time! Game time! <laughs> Who is holding the hat that's just the right size to fit between Dave's ears? The big red hat. The small yellow hat. The very big blue hat. Ruff Ruff says it's the big red hat. Tweet says it's the small yellow hat. And Dave says it's the very big blue hat. But who's right? Ruff Ruff, Tweet or Dave? Yes, it's Ruff Ruff! Yay! The yellow hat is too small for Dave and the blue hat is much too big. But Ruff Ruff's red hat is a perfect fit. I knew that because it was the right size to fit in between Dave's ears. It's not too big and not too small. And a happy hat has to be the right size for your head. This is my happy hat. <laughs> my turn to find a hat now. I want a hat that stops me hurting my head when I bump it on something. There are all sorts of different hats in the Hat Forest. Yes, let's look there. Ruff, I'll find them. Happy hat for me here somewhere. You need a hat that's made of something really strong to protect your head. Look, this one's a bit like Hattie's top hat, but it's squashy. Squashy, squash, squash. <laughs> this pointy hat is all bendy. <laughs> this hat's very hard. <laughs> My hat! I feel a question coming on. Let's play! Game time! Game time! <laughs> Who has found a hat that's strong and will stop Tweet hurting her head if she bumps it by accident? The squashy top hat! The bendy hat! The hard hat! Who has chosen the hat that will stop Tweet hurting her head if she bumps it? Is it Ruff Ruff, Tweet or Dave? Yes, it's Dave! <laughs> I knew that because this hat is very hard. A hat has to be the right size for your head and it has to be made out of the right material to keep you comfy and safe for the job you need to do. I'm going to see if it works. Ready, Mr Squirrel? <laughs> <laughs> it didn't hurt my head at all. This hat works. You found your happy hat, Tweet. Now it's your turn, Ruff Ruff. I want a hat that stops my ears getting hot in the sunshine. I've got a blue panda idea. We need to go to a sunny place to find a hat for wearing in the sunshine. I know just where to look. Welcome to Sunny Ranch. <laughs> Ruff, I see some hats. Hello, new cow. Moo. Mm. We're looking for a hat for Ruff Ruff to keep the sunshine off his ears. Can we borrow yours? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Looks like you found some fun hats. But are they sun hats? I found a round hat. I found a banana hat. Where's Tweet gone? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs>
that will keep the sun off Ruff Ruff's ears. The round hat, the wide hat, the banana hat. So, which hat will keep the sun off Ruff Ruff's ears? Ruff Ruff says it's the round hat. Tweet says it's the wide hat. And Dave says the banana hat. Who's right? Is it Ruff Ruff, Tweet or Dave? Yes, it's Tweet. <laughs> I knew that because the other hats are not wide enough. Hooray! My happy hat! It's perfect for keeping the sun off Ruff Ruff's ears. And it's just the right shape. Now we all have happy hats. And we've all had a great happy hat adventure. A happy hat is just the right size. It fits just right. It doesn't cover your eyes. To protect you from bugs, it must be made of hard stuff. And a sun hat is one, like this one, Ruff Ruff. Right size, right shape, the right stuff too. These are our hat choosing rules. For you! Yay! <laughs> Time to go home, everyone. To the spin again! <laughs> <laughs> My hat! What a lot of happy hats we found today. Thanks for helping. <laughs> oh, the final guessing game, just for you. Can you guess who will fall asleep first today? Ruff Ruff, Tweet or Dave? <sighs> it was Dave. It's always Dave. Until our next adventure, hang on to your happy hats. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Does that nut belong to someone? Huh? It's mine. Uh, why don't you eat it? Oh, uh, I'm saving it for later. Uh, I have to hide it. Where? Why don't you try and guess? Uh, in a box? Uh, nope. In a hole? Uh, guess again. I'm going to hide it in a tree. Way up there. Huh? Oh, I don't need a ladder to climb a tree. I have four legs. <laughs> oh, but they don't look like that. My front legs are short and my hind legs are long and very, very strong. Stop! These are the right legs. Oh, and that's my fur. Where's my... my where, where's my... Your what? My tail. I've lost my tail. You have a tail? Yes, and when it's cold out, I use it as a scarf. Oh, oh I, I know how to find it. Huh. Yeah. Found it! Look out below! Woo! It also works as a parachute. Wait, wait, wait! You're a small bird. With two ears and two sharp teeth, you have four legs and a long bushy tail, and you store nuts in trees. I know what you are. You're a squirrel. Oh, that's right. How on earth did you guess? <laughs> ruff, ruff, tweet, and Dave. Ruff, ruff, tweet, and Dave. What a wonderful way to spend your day with ruff, ruff, ruff tweet, and Dave. What a fun day. Here we go. Spin again will take us on another great adventure. Say their names. What a great game! So play along at home. We will fall the spin again. Who knows what we might find? We've had the hamster taking us there. We know we'll have a magical time. A magical time! Play along at home. Say their names. Here we go. It's Ruff Ruff. Ruff Ruff. Tweet. Tweet. And Dave. Hello! I'm Hattie the Hamster with my hat full of questions. <laughs> I'm off to see my friends, Ruff Ruff, Tweet and Dave. <laughs> well, what's happening here? Morning, Hattie. We're pretending to be racing cars. 
Beep, beep. You're in my way, Ruff Ruff. Make way for Dave, king of the road. Be careful you don't crash. Beep, beep. Oof. Oops. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> We're all right. Driving is a lot more fun when you don't bump into each other. It's not easy when we all drive at the same time. How can we stop bumping into each other? Maybe you'll find out on our adventure. What adventure are we going on today, Hattie? Ask the hat! Ask the hat! OK. <laughs> today we're going on a driving adventure. A driving adventure! <laughs> Yay! Don't forget to buckle up to your roly pods. <laughs> <laughs> Spin again for a driving adventure! Let's go driving! This is fun! <laughs> Yay! Stop! It's Mr. Squirrel! Why has he stopped in front of that red light on a stick? <laughs> Look! There's a green light now and Mr. Squirrel is running again! Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> it's another red light. Let's take a closer look. Up. Aha! Uh -huh. I see you found another traffic light. Rough. It went from green to red. But I haven't a blue panda idea what that means. <laughs> Oh, my hat! I feel a question coming on. Are you ready to play? Game time! Game time! <laughs> what does this red light mean? Rough. It's telling us to stop. It's telling us to go. It means time for a banana. <laughs> Rough Ruff says the red light means stop. Tweet says it means go. And Dave says it means time for a banana. Hope. So who do you think is right? Ruff Ruff, Tweet or Dave? Yes! It's Ruff Ruff! Yay! A red light always means stop. I knew that because I remember Mr Squirrel stopped when the light was red. But why does the traffic light want us to stop? Oh, I know why. Look! The light tells us to stop so we don't bump into the snail that's crossing the road. That's right, Dave. Traffic lights help us to cross the road safely. And if red means stop, then green means... Go! <laughs> <laughs> Up! Wait for me! Look! Another thing on the stick! What have you found now? A tall stick with a picture of a cow on it. That's what we call a road sign. Ooh! Uh, why is there a picture of a cow on the road sign? I don't know, but I can hear some cows. Ooh! <laughs> I feel another question coming on. Are you ready to play? Game time! Game time! <laughs> Why is there a picture of a cow on a sign next to the road? Ruff, it's a nice picture to look at. It tells us there might be cows crossing the road. It's asking if anyone has seen a lost cow. So, what does the sign mean? Ruff Ruff says it's a nice picture to look at. Tweet says it tells us there may be cows crossing the road. And Dave says it's asking if anyone has seen this lost cow. But who's right? Is it Ruff Ruff, Tweet or Dave? Tweet is right! Hooray! I 
knew that because I heard some cows mooing. <laughs> That's right, Tweet. The sign tells us there may be cows on the road ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so you better drive slowly. We, we will. will. Hello, cows. It's a good thing the sign told us about the cows. It stopped us bumping into them. They've all crossed the road now. That means you can drive on safely. Bye-bye, cows. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Ruff, ruff. Oh, Mrs Chicken didn't see you. It's lucky you saw her. She still wants to cross the road. We need to help her. She's at the right spot. See those stripes on the road? She's at a crossing place. But how can we help her cross safely? There aren't any red lights telling us to stop. Or a sign with the picture of a chicken telling us she's here. Can you remember the way to cross the road safely, Ruff Ruff? I'll show you, Mrs Chicken. Look out! Here comes Speedy Sheep! Whoa! We almost got bumped! I know how to cross safely. We stop first, then look to see if anything is coming. Now we cross! Whoa! I'll show you the blue panda way to cross the road. Stop, look, and listen. <laughs> now we can cross the road. And keep looking and listening all the time. <laughs> Whoa. My hat's telling me there's another question coming on. Are you ready to play? Game time! Game time! the safest way to cross the road. Ruff, cross the road fast without looking. Stop and look to check if anything is coming. Find a crossing place, stop, look and listen to check if anything is coming. So, who do you think knows the safest way to cross the road? Is it Ruff Ruff, Tweet or Dave? <laughs> That's right, it's Dave! When Dave led us across the road, we stopped, looked and listened <laughs> to check it was safe to cross the road. Well done, Dave! <laughs> Goodbye! Bye -bye. Bye -bye. That was a great driving adventure! A red light means stop and green is for go. <laughs> Following this rule is the best way we know. Signs are your friends. They keep you from harm. Showing cows on a sign is like an alarm. To cross the road safely, you must stop, look and listen. And that's how we helped our good friend the chicken. <laughs> and now it's time to drive home. And don't forget to buckle up to the spin again! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> had a great driving adventure today. Thanks for all your help. <laughs> oh, the final guessing game, just for you. Can you guess who will fall asleep first today? Ruff Ruff, Tweet or Dave? <sighs> it was Dave. It's always Dave. Until our next adventure, this is Hattie the Hamster saying buckle up and bye-bye! Bye-bye! <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> wow! Why don't you fall? <laughs> See if you can guess. I know! Because you're a climber? No. I have eight legs, though. 
No, not like those. Mine are long and flexible, and they help me climb anywhere I want to go without falling. Ooh. Wait a second. You're tied to a rope. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a rope. It's not? Then what is it, a rubber bag? Guess again. Is it a swing? Mm-mm. <laughs> Though I can swing from it, it's my thread! Oops, it broke! That's okay. I'll just make another one. It's easy. Do you have a spool in your tummy? That's right. So what do you do with all your threads? Well, it's definitely not for embroidery. And it's certainly not for fishing or hanging my clothes. <laughs> <laughs> just watch. I'll show you what I make with it. Wow, that's a beautiful hammock. It isn't a hammock, it's my web. Wait, wait, wait. You're a tiny animal with eight long legs. You have a spool of thread in your tummy and you spin webs. I know what you are. You're a spider. That's right. How on earth did you get? <laughs> <laughs> What a wonderful way to spend your day with Ruff Ruff Tweet and Dave. What a fun day, here we go. Yay! Ruff Ruff Tweet and Dave. The spinning girl will take us on another great adventure. Say their names. What a great game! So play along at home. We will fall the spin again. Who knows what we might find? With Hattie the hamster taking us there, we know we'll have a magical time. A magical time! Play along at home. Say their names. Here we go. It's Ruff Ruff. <laughs> it's me, Hattie the Hamster, with my hat full of questions. What kind of adventure will we have today? Watch Ruff Ruff Tweet and Dave and see if you can tell. Up, Morning, Ruff Ruff Tweet and Dave. Hello, Hattie. Look, there's a star in my favourite book. I love stars. I know a song about a star, Tweet. Far above me, there you are. Yes, you are my favourite star. Ooh, I really, really like your song. Can I sing it too? Of course you can, Tweet. Let's sing it together. One, two, three, four. Far, Far above, above me, me, there you are. are. Yes, you, you are, are my favourite star. star. I wish I had my very own star, but I don't know where to find one. I don't see any stars around here. Hmm, where can we find stars? Maybe we'll find stars on our adventure. What adventure are we going on today, Hattie? Ask, Ask the hat! Ask, Ask the hat! OK. <laughs> today we're going on... A story adventure! A story adventure! I love stars! Oh, look at your hat, Hattie! I hope I find a star just as pretty as that one. Let's go and see! To your roly pods! <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Spin again for a story adventure! It's time for some starry fun! <laughs> <laughs> come on, stars! Come out, come out, wherever you are! They're up there somewhere. In my book, the stars keep the moon company at night. I just need to fly really high to reach them. Uh, uh, I can't fly high enough. Where, oh, where is my favourite star? <laughs> Ooh, my hat! I feel a question coming on. Are you ready to play? Game, 
Game time! Game time! <laughs> Why can't we see the stars right now? Because we're looking in the wrong place. Because the stars are shy. Because it's not night time. Who do you think has the right answer? Is it Ruff Ruff, Tweet or Dave? Yes! Dave is right! Yay! I knew that because Tweet's book had a picture of the moon and stars at night time. That's right. You only see real stars in the sky when it's dark. Why, Hattie? Well, during the day, the stars are still there. You just can't see them because the sky is so bright. Ooh! Ruff! We'll have to wait for night time. Or, if you look carefully, you can see star shapes everywhere, even in the daytime. Oh, let's find star shapes! Star shapes! Star shapes! <laughs> would you like to help us look for star shapes too? You would? Great! Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> Ruff! A box with stars! Let's look inside. Do you see anything starry, Dave? Yes! I found a star shape at the end of this wand. Ruff! Let's go and find some more stars. Ooh! I found a star-shaped flower. Oh! Ruff, Ruff, Ruff! What's Ruff, Ruff doing? Ruff, Ruff! <laughs> One, two, three, four, five! You don't find stars in the ground, Ruff Ruff. No, but I can dig a star. Look! Wow! You dug a star-shaped hole, Ruff Ruff. So, who's found a star shape? Me! <laughs> I feel a game coming on. Let's play! Game time! Game time! <laughs> <laughs> has found something that's star-shaped, like the star on my hat. My hole in the ground is star-shaped. My flower is star-shaped. The end of my magic wand is star-shaped. Who do you think has found something star-shaped? Is it Ruff Ruff, Tweet or Dave? Or maybe it's more than one of them. <laughs> that's right. It's Ruff Ruff, Tweet and Dave. They're all right. <gasps> That's never happened before. Yay! We did it! Hooray! I love all of our star shapes, but I'd still like my very own star that isn't a flower, a wand or a hole. Like the one in our song. Yes. Far above me there you are. Yes, you are my favourite star. I've got a blue panda idea. Let's make a star for Tweet. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> ruff, ruff! Over here! Lots and lots of shapes. Let's see if we can find a star shape. Uh, hmm, none of these are star shapes. So how can we make a star? Ruff, these pointy shapes look like bits of star. Maybe we can stick them together. Good idea! How many pointy shapes do we need to make Tweet's favourite star, Hattie? Hmm. Sometimes, to find the right answer, you need to ask the right question. Ooh! <laughs> I feel another game coming on. Let's play! Game time! Game time! <laughs> How many points does Tweet's favourite star have? Here's a hatty hint. It looks just the same as the star on my hat. Tweet's star has five points. Uh, my star has three points. Tweet Star has 19 points. Who has the right answer? Is it Ruff Ruff, Tweet or Dave? Yes! Ruff Ruff is right. Tweet Star has five points. Yay! I remembered stars have five points because I counted them when I dug my star-shaped hole in the ground. One, two, three, four, five. Well done, Ruff Ruff. And Yay! it's just like the star on my hat, too. Three points isn't enough, and 19 points is too many. <laughs> I knew that. I was only joking. Let's try putting five pointy pieces together, Ruff Ruff. One, two, three, four, five. A star, a proper star. It's perfect. Look, it's night time. Time for real stars. <gasps> wow! There's the moon, and right next to it, there's a real star. Just like 
in my book. Far above me there you are. Yes, you are my favourite star. And that was a great starry adventure. To find a star when it's not night. We looked for shapes while it was light. A wand. Star flowers. Even a hole. But a star for tweet. That was our goal. We found five points to make a star. And far above me, there you are. Yay! Far above me, there you are. Yes, you are my favourite star. Ah, it's time to go home, everyone. To the spin again! <laughs> <laughs> We made a star for Tweet, but we couldn't have made it without your help. So thank you. <laughs> oh, the final guessing game, just for you. Can you guess who will fall asleep first today? Ruff Ruff, Tweet or Dave? <sighs> it was Dave. It's always Dave. Until our next adventure, starring Ruff Ruff Tweet and Dave. Bye bye! Bye bye! Hey, why are you running so fast? Uh, I can't help it. It's my feet. Uh, they have to move all the time. All the time. Why? Uh, oh, why don't you guess? I know, because it's your birthday and you're excited. Uh, uh, no, that's not it. No! <laughs> uh, I run all the time because I have lots of things to do. Like what? Uh, I have to bathe myself for one thing. Oh, not like that. I wash by combing my fur with my fingers. But you don't have any fur. Oh, well, what do you call this? <laughs> what are you doing now? I'm getting food. Watch what I can do. <laughs> A hazelnut. I'll store it in my cheek for later. <laughs> Mmm, a sugar cube. Mm, I'll store that in my cheek, too. Mm. <laughs> oh, what's so funny? <laughs> you, you're making funny faces. No, I'm not. My cheeks stretch a lot. They're made so I can store food in them. They sure hold a lot. Now it's time for a little exercise. Ready? Wow, you have your own amusement park. That's right. Wait, wait, wait. You're an animal with welcome fur. You store food in your cheeks, and you live in a cage with a wheel in it. 